Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today our lesson objective is to learn the characteristics of mammals and identify mammals. First, let's talk about what a mammal is. A mammal is a type of animal. Human beings are one example of a mammal. There are four characteristics or qualities of mammals that I'd like you to learn in this video. The first is that mammals have bodies that are covered in fur or hair. You might be thinking that human beings only have fur on their heads, but look very carefully at your arm and your leg. You actually have hair all over your body, just like all mammals do. The hair is there to keep us warm, and that leads me to the second characteristic I want you to know about mammals. Mammals are warm-blooded. What that means is that our bodies regulate their temperature using a metabolism. All you need to know is that a mammal's body is generally a higher temperature than the mammal's environment. For example, in Stockton in the winter, the temperature could be 50 degrees, but the temperature of my body, as long as I'm healthy, will stay around 98 degrees. So that second characteristic I'd like you to remember is that mammals are warm-blooded. The third characteristic I want you to know about mammals is that when mammals have babies, the babies are born alive. Here's what I mean by that. A bird lays eggs, and then the eggs hatch, and the baby birds come out. Mammals don't do that. When a mammal has a baby, the baby is already alive. It doesn't have to hatch out of an egg. So that third characteristic I want you to remember is that mammals have babies that are alive. So let me ask you a question then. Is a bird a mammal? The answer is no, because birds lay eggs. And I told you that mammals have babies that are alive. So birds are not mammals. The fourth characteristic I'd like you to remember about mammals is that mammal babies drink milk from their mothers to grow healthy and strong. If you've ever had a dog that had puppies or a cat that had kittens, you'll know that mammal babies drink milk from their mothers until they can eat solid food on their own. That's where the mammal babies get their nutrients so that they can grow. So let's go ahead and review those four characteristics of mammals. First, mammals' bodies are covered in hair or fur. Two, mammals are warm-blooded. Three, Mammals have babies that are born alive. And four, mammal babies drink their mother's milk to grow healthy and strong. Let's go ahead and look at some examples of mammals. I've already told you that humans are mammals, so are rabbits. Baby rabbits are born without very much fur, but they quickly grow a thick fur coat to help keep them warm because they are warm-blooded. Rabbit babies are born alive and they drink their mother's milk so that they can grow into strong rabbits. I'm going to include a link in the description box below where you can watch a video of baby rabbits from the very first day that they're born until they're grown up. Cats are also an example of mammals. Cats are covered in fur. Cats have warm blood. They have babies that are alive. And the babies drink their mother's milk so that they can grow into strong cats. Dogs are another example of mammals. Dogs are covered in fur. Dogs are warm-blooded. Puppies are born alive. And puppies drink their mother's milk so that they can grow into big dogs. I'm gonna be showing you many different animals. I want you to try to guess whether each animal is a mammal or not. After about eight seconds, I'll put the answer up onto the screen. Good luck.
I hope that you had fun trying to identify mammals. Please remember those four characteristics of mammals are that our bodies are covered in fur or hair, we are warm-blooded, mammal babies are born alive, and mammal babies drink their mother's milk so that they can grow. That's all that I have for you today, but if you want to see some more examples of mammals, make sure you watch the ending credits. Every animal that appears in the ending credits is a mammal. Bye for now!